All right, music fans, welcome back again to The Real Music Observer. It's Dave observing real music in real time for real people just like you and this guy. I uh, want to talk about Dean Castronovo. Uh, he is just having a great year. Uh, I want to talk about the incredible, just crazy comeback of Dean. Uh, Dean was kicked out of Journey a couple of years back. Uh, he had some issues. You know, I've talked about those issues. I'm not going to rehash uh, some of the things that went down. But Dean did a 180, turned his life around, and is a shining example for the rest of humanity, uh, especially those of us who struggle with certain things. Uh, you can pick yourself up and go in a different direction. Of course, God was a big part of that in his life, and I, I wanted to give God a little plug there. So well done, Dean. And of course, God was in it. So he's got this side project right now. Well, let, let me just back up a bit. He's, he's going to be playing and performing with this Journey Through Time thing with Neil Sean. Amazing. Opens up so many possibilities of the kind of material they can perform. Uh, he's in the Dead Daisies now, so he's in a rock band officially, a band that does touring. They've got new music coming. I know he just did drum tracks for all the new songs. Uh, they're finishing up vocals and they're going to have a new release coming soon. So if you like kind of the down and dirty, greasy, uh, old school sort of Guns N' Roses, Black Crows kind of sound, uh, Dead Daisies is the way to go. And that project is going to be fantastic. But I want to focus on this Revolution Saints thing. Big shout out to Doug Aldrich. Big shout out to Jack Blades. Uh, it's kind of like a damn Yankees for, you know, 2017. Anyway... <laughs> Dean is now singing in this group and he's doing, you know, harder edge stuff, but he's also doing some power ballads. And this one particular tune, I Wouldn't Change a Thing, has now been number one for three weeks on the Endangered CDs chart. Now, a lot of people are sending me messages going, well, what's Endangered CDs? It's not Billboard. No, it's not Billboard because Billboard pretty much focuses on crap. Okay, the, the, the music that this chart kind of, um, you know, documents uh, is music that's getting played on independent radio, uh, independent sales, buzz about the album, certain songs that are uh, getting a lot of play out there in general. And I Wouldn't Change a Thing has been number one now for three consecutive weeks. I followed the chart for a while this year, haven't seen a song top the charts for three weeks over there so there you go and then just some quotes that I pulled right off the internet here I got things that people have been saying about Mr. Dean and Revolution Saints listen to this best song I have heard in years once I heard that song I bought the CD this is quite an impressive selection of songs it felt like we were going back to the 80s which I wish we could <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, here's another one. I felt the song was speaking to my relationship, and that voice, it just tugs at my heartstrings. <clears throat> uh, Dean is a poor man's Steve Perry without the endless waiting. <laughs> I love it. That, that. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, best power ballad since Jerry's All the Way. Ooh. So, uh, best song since Journey's Arrival album with Steve Jerry. That's a high compliment. Because honestly, when Steve Aw Jerry was 100%, he just killed it. He was, I love Steve Aw Jerry. Uh, the song has an epic guitar solo, the likes of which have completely vanished from this kind of song. Doug Altrich, buddy, we're talking to you. Phenomenal, yes, incredible. Autobiographical, perhaps. More importantly, the song is a fine example of melody, power, and emotion. Finally, does Dean eat a lot of Italian food? And I can pretty much verify that he does, okay? And occasionally you can't get too close to the guy when he eats a meal. I'm just saying. That's what I've heard. I haven't met Dean officially, but, you know, that's that's the word on the street. So, Dean Castronova, buddy, uh, this buds for you, or however we want to go about doing this. I'm not sure if Dean is drinking. Uh, I don't think he is anymore, so scrap the bud. Just say, this year, 2017, is the year 
of Dean Castronovo. Well done, buddy. Well done. We'll see you in 2018, and we know you got bigger things coming your way. We will talk soon, everybody.